Hello students, <coughs> welcome to OTT. Uh, now we are going to learn 5th standard max unit 2 numbers in that part 2 video. Okay, uh, here we have place value and comparison comparison of numbers. Okay, place value chart. So you are already know what is place and place values in numbers okay ones tens hundreds thousands lakh okay 10 lakhs crore 10 crores these, these are all places okay that is the thing we are going to learn here so here they are giving the place value chart okay fill fill the correct numbers in the following table so uh, in the, in the first row they are giving crore 10 lakhs 10 lakhs lakhs 10 thousands thousands hundreds tens ones okay these are all places and here in one crore in 10 lakhs in one lakh in 10 thousand in one thousand okay so we have to write the name okay uh, how many ones in one crore okay they are filling the first row for for examples okay uh, in that how many ones seen one crore there are one crore one seen one 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 seen one crore okay it is difficult to understand so if you see all the examples then you will be understand what is that what what i am telling so next one 10 lakhs okay in one crore how many 10 lakhs in one crore how many 10 lakhs there are 10 10 10 lakhs in which in one crore okay there are 10 10 lakhs in one crore uh, next one how many lakhs in one crore okay this is the way you have to read how many lakhs in one crore there are hundred lakhs there are hundred lakhs in one crore that means uh, okay i will tell you later so just you listen mm. next one how many ten thousands in one crore okay there are thousand ten thousands in one crore there are thousand ten thousands in one crore okay uh, next one how many thousands in one crore that is the uh, that is the question how many thousands in one crore there are ten thousand thousands in one crore okay <coughs> next one how many hundreds in one crore okay there are one two three four five one lakh hundreds in one crore how many hundreds in one crore yes there are one lakh hundreds in one crore okay uh, how many tens in one crore there are ten lakh tens in one crore okay there are 10 lakh tens in one crore yes how many ones in one crore there are one crore ones okay one crore ones in one crore okay how many crore in one crore there are one crore in one crore but how many ones in one crore there are one crore ones okay that is the difference okay here in one crore there is only one crore okay but in ones there there is one crore ones in which one crore okay uh, next you see in 10 lakhs how many crore in 10 lakhs there is no crore because crore is bigger than the 10 lakh uh, if you see the number system sorry uh, if you see the if you see the, the place uh, places of numbers 
ones tens okay hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh ten lakh crore here ones uh, ones is smaller than the tens okay tens is bigger than the ones then hundreds is bigger than the tens okay hundreds has uh, which one wait this is bigger than this one this one okay so 100 has what are what are the uh, places tens and uh, ones but tens has us only ones but tens ha is uh, tens has uh, hundreds no because tens is smaller than the hundreds only tens has ones only okay i hope you understand then thousands has thousand is bigger than the hundreds okay thousand has hundreds tens ones yes now 10,000 has thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, okay? Now, lakhs has 10,000, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, yes? So, lakh is bigger, bigger than the others, okay? 10 lakh, yes, remaining places. 10 lakh has remaining places. Crore has 10 lakhs, lakhs. Then, I am asking one question. Is 10 lakh has crore no because 10 lakh is smaller than the crore okay crore only have 10 lakhs so in the same way in 10 lakhs in 10 lakhs how many crore yes there is no crore that's why they are marking say they are not writing here okay there is no numbers okay that's why they are not writing any numbers because there is no crore in 10 lakhs what is the reason 10 lakh is smaller than the crore that is the reason next one in 10 lakhs sorry in 10 lakhs how many 10 lakhs there is only one 10 lakhs okay uh, next in 10 lakhs how many lakhs in crore there are 100 lakhs in crore there are 100 lakhs but in 10 lakhs how many lakhs there are 10 lakhs okay there are 10 lakhs next one 10,000 in 10 lakhs how many 10,000 in crore 1,000 10,000 in lakhs there are 100 100 10,000 okay so if you, uh, okay I will tell you the letter in thousands how many 10 lakhs in thousand there are thousand ten lakhs okay in crore there are ten thousand uh, in lakhs there are thousand okay uh, in hundreds in ten lakhs how many hundreds there are ten thousand hundreds there are ten thousand hundreds okay in 10 lakhs how many tens there are 1 lakh tens okay 1 lakh tens 1 lakh this is 3 0 okay 3 0 2 0 this is 1 this is comma uh, in 10 lakhs how many ones there are 10 lakhs ones okay 10 lakhs comma 10 comma 0 0 comma 0 0 and 0 there are 10 lakhs 1 in 10 lakhs okay now you can compare these two rows okay here there is no number no? in the first in crore there is no number that uh, why because 10 lakh is smaller than the crore that means there is no crore in 10 lakhs okay that's why it is empty now you can see this one is coming here okay and this 10 is coming here this 100 is coming here this 1000 coming here okay you can also see uh, in this column there is no zero okay they are uh, now we can strike out one zero we will get the number here we we can strike out one zero we will get what 10 here if you strike out one zero 100 okay that is the answer if you strike out one zero, what is the answer? Thousand. 
if you strike out 10 what is the answer 10000 okay if you strike out 10 what is the answer 1 lakh if you strike out 10 what is the answer 10 lakh okay so there is two way you can fill this three row okay it is very easy so here one what is what will come here uh, if you strike out one zero here what will come yes 10 okay this 10 will come here this 100 will come here this thousand will come here so here 10 thousand here 1 lakh ok 1 lakh 0 0 0 ok 1 lakh have you understand now one is there so here this 10 will become here 100 here 1000 here 10000 ok i hope you understand uh, so this is 10 this is 100 this is 1000 100 zero, zero, this is 10,000 that's all so this 10 will come one is come here this 10 will come here this 100 will come here sorry this is 100 this 1000 ok so now you see in 1 lakh how many lakhs there is only 1 lakh in 1 lakh uh, how many 10,000 there is 10 10 10 10,000 in 1 lakh how many thousand there are 100 thousand in the way you can trade okay so that's all students i am going to move next page uh, let us learn to use abacus okay this is abacus here we have abacus this one is called abacus okay hmm. number name okay here the abacus shows the number 7341 okay number name this is 7000 7341 okay 41 expanded form okay this is the standard one okay this is the standard form of number and the expanded form of this number is 7000 you know 7000 so 7 they are writing those then and uh, 300 you know 100 so 3 100s okay and 40 points okay 40 means 410 okay 40 means 410 then 1 that's all here they are writing in number 7000 means this one 7000 300 means 300 410 means 410 means 10 10 10 10 4 tens if you add 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 ok 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 what is the answer 40 so 4 10 means what 40 that's all and 1 means 1 ok so if you add these 4 numbers ok you will get 7341 that is the meaning now they are uh, separate by multiplication okay so 7 cross how many zeros are there 3 0 you just write 3 0 and put 1 in front okay that is that will become 7000 and put a cross mark that is 7 cross 1000 that is 7000 if you multiply 7 cross 1000 you will get 7000 i hope you understand so i will I will give one example okay I just multiply 7 cross 1000 so first you take 7 and multiply this 0 once 0 and if you multiply 0 if you multiply 0 by any number you will get the answer 0 okay 7 0 0 and if you take this 0 7 0 0 and if you multiply 1 7 1 7 what again okay. what is the answer 7000 you know okay you will get 7000 that means 7 cross 1000 means 7000 this is also 7 cross 1000 okay so, uh, next one 300 means in the same way 
3 cross 100 that is 300 3 cross 100 that is 300 ok 4 40 means 4 cross 10 4 tens are what multiplication table 4 tens are 40 ok that is only 1 that's all so now you see I am going to explain this one in uh, in this abacus they are showing 7341 ok so you are all know the place value uh, what are all the places so I forgot to tell you ok these are all the places ok first one ones second one tens third one hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh ten lakh core these are all the places ok so uh, here now you see wo wo means ones okay ones place t means tens place okay h means hundreds place th means thousands place t dot th means ten thousands place L means lakhs place, T L means 10 lakhs place, C means crores, ok. These are all the places. In ones, there is only, uh, ok. Uh, this, uh, this one is called rod, ok. And this one is the frame of abacus, ok. This is the frame, this is the rod, ok. And uh, here inside we have uh, in rose color, one shape, you know, this is beads, ok. I will explain you later beats ok this is beats this is which place ones place o means ones ok in ones how many beats are there there is only one beats so therefore that uh, that is called one ok they are writing ones in tens how many beats are there one two three four there are four beats ok this is in tens tens ok this is in tens place so there is 4 bits that means 4 cross 10 I hope you understand uh, yes this is the expanded form of this one ok so here we have 4 bits 1 2 3 4 so they are writing 4 ok uh, here in hundreds how many bits are there 1 2 3 ok so they are writing 3 in the doubt in thousands how many bits are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 bits ok so they are writing 7 that's all about us I hope you understand you just count the bits and uh, write the numbers in the down how many bits in that uh, rod ok in that uh, place ok that's all this is about us so next Uh, activity 1 so here they are giving the definition <laughs> abacus abacus is a counting device that consists of a frame holding rods ok this is the frame ok this is the frame this frame holding what rods ok you see this is called rods holding rods on which a specific number of beads okay these are all the beads these are all the beads are free to move we can move it easily okay if you take if you can take these beads that is uh, uh, easy to move okay are free to move each rod denotes place values such as units tens hundreds so the first rod mentioned which place ones, second one tens, third one hundreds, fourth one thousand, fifth one ten thousand, sixth one lakh, seventh one ten lakh, okay, eighth one crore. Okay, they are mentioning places. Each rod mentioning places. So here they are giving one activity. So here the above abacus shows the number 
34,284. Okay, this is the biggest. 34,284. Okay, number name 34,284. Now you see this is the biggest shows 34,284. So now I'm going to check. So in bonds here in the down they are giving four. So there must be four bits. Let us count one, two, three, four. Okay, four bits. It is right. So in tens place here they are giving eight. There must be eight bits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bits. Okay. So this is also right. So in hundreds, they are giving two. There must be two bits. One, two. Uh, similarly, thousands, four, ten thousands, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. In ten thousand, one, two, three. Okay, that is three. Three bits, four bits. Therefore, therefore, this is thirty-four thousand two hundred and eighty-four. So now we are going to. do this activity uh, okay uh, uh this is number name okay you see the spell spelling 34284 that is number name this number name okay this is number they are writing in name this is expanded form expanded form means we are going to expand this number okay by multiplication okay multiplication and addition using that operation expanded form 34 you know so 30 that means 3 10000 okay 3 10000 this 10000 thousands hundreds ones tens ones are what place value okay these are all the place value so first one what is the first place i already teach you yes ones o o means ones four in ones eight in tens tens means t t is the short form of tens and two is hundreds two is in which place hundreds place and four is in which place Thousand T H okay thousand and three is in which place ten thousand okay T dot T H ten thousand okay these are all the places okay I I repeat once again first place what ones second place tens you repeat after me first one ones second one tens third one hundreds. Fourth one thousands, fifth one ten thousands, sixth one lakhs, seventh one ten lakhs, eighth one crores, ninth one ten crores. Okay, these are all the places. So according to that places, I am writing here. First one ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay, if you don't if you don't know, you go that above page. There is that uh, they are mentioning the place in the correct way. Okay, you can see the spelling also. So now here you see uh, three. Three is in which place? Yes, ten thousand. So you write three for the expanded form. Then you write the place. Okay, what? Which place three lies? Okay, ten thousand. That is they are writing ten thousand three, ten thousand. And four, which place thousand four thousands, and two, two is in which place hundreds two hundreds, and eight eight is in which place tens eight tens, and four four is in which place ones yes four ones. That's all, student. It is very easy. Okay. If you know the place, then you can write easily the expanded form. Okay, expanded form, expanded. Okay, expanded form. If 
so now uh, 3 10 thousand is what 30 thousand that is nothing but 3 cross you have to write 10 thousand 10 thousand okay if you multiply 3 cross 10 thousand what is the answer 30 thousand so if you have this type of number okay first one is 1 then remaining numbers are zeros if you have this type of number then it is very easy to multiply okay you just multiply 3 and 1 okay then you write what is 3 ones are 3 that's all you know then you stop there you count the zeros 1 2 3 4 how many zeros there are 4 zeros you see here they are writing 1 2 3 4 4 zeros okay that, that is very easy to multiply you just multiply the first two number 3 ones are 3 then you write then you after you write after you count all the zeros and write it here okay that's all that is 30,000 the, then 4,000 that is 4 cross 1,000 1, 2, 3 there are 3 zeros in 1,000 okay and it is very easy to multiply 4 ones are 4 so you write 4 then you count remaining zeros 1, 2, 3 there are 3 zeros then you write 1, 2, 3 this is 4,000 so it is very easy to multiply here 200 200 means 2 cross 100 ok that is the meaning so 200 means 2 cross 100 then you write 2 ok so 2 is nothing but 2 1s are 2 then you count the 0 there are 2 0 and write it here 2 0 then 8 tens. then 8 tens. so 8 10 is nothing but 8 cross 10 that is 8 10 8 tens are 80 8 10 means 8 cross 10 okay 4 ones 4 one means 4 cross 1 4 ones are 4 okay i hope you understand so 3 10 means 3 cross sorry 3 10 thousand means 3 cross 10 thousand okay 4 thousand means 4 cross thousands okay 200 means 2 cross hundreds okay 8 10 means 8 cross 10 okay this is the meaning so i write that i write it here so 30 okay 30 thousand means what that is 3 cross 10 thousand okay here I, I write you know so they are expanded it 30 thousand means 3 cross 10 thousand 4 thousand means 4 cross 10 thousand 4 cross 10 thousand what we have to write thousand 200 means 2 cross hundreds okay 2 cross hundreds yeah, then 8 tens means 8 cross 10 8 cross 10 plus this plus 4 ones means 4 cross ones i hope you understand yes this is the expanded form uh, 34284 so this is the number name then expanded form you have to write the number first uh, the first number 3 then you have to write the place which place 3 lies 1 ones ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousand so you write 3 and write after that you write the place ten thousand okay then you write 4 4 4 lies which place thousands place then you write the places okay after that you write 3 and 10,000 okay 3 10,000 means 30,000 then plus this place okay plus 4,000 means 4,000 then you put plus 200 means 200 plus 8 10 means 80 plus 4 ones means 4 then you expanded this number 30,000 is nothing but 
3 cross 10,000 is the 30,000. If you multiply 3 cross 10,000, you will get 30,000. The same way you can do it. Okay? This is the expanded form. So, this is the number. If you, uh, if they are asking question, uh, suppose if you write the number 34,000 through 284 in the expanded form. Uh, and, uh, they are asking the question like that then you have to uh, expand the number like this form okay this is the expanded form i hope you understand okay next so this is the activity two uh, here they are giving so it is like the activity 2 is like uh, activity 1 okay activity 1 this activity 1 okay and activity 2 are same thing okay just now i explained you know so you do it in your home so what is the number i just found the number here um, so in abacus i'm going to found the number okay <coughs> Uh, first in ones one how many bits are there one two three four five six seven eight eight bits are there eight okay <coughs> one two three four five intense five bits one two in hundreds two bits thousands one one bits ten thousand one two three four 4 bits lakhs 1 2 2 lakhs 10 lakh 1 2 3 4 5 okay 5 10 lakhs okay so this is the number so we can uh, put a comma in once period there is three places ones tens hundreds after counting three number you can put the comma You can put the comma in a thousands there is two places one two uh, that is thousands ten thousands in lakh there is two places lakh and uh, ten lakh so the number is 52 lakh 41 thousand two hundred and fifty eight okay that is the number so if you don't know how to put a comma or how to read the numbers okay if you don't know how to read the numbers and how to put the comma, I upload one video in YouTube, okay? Uh, I already sent you. If you don't know, I will send you. Sorry. Not I. Okay, I put a one video in, in YouTube. I will give the link, okay, in that, uh, in that video link in, the, in, this, in this video description, okay? You can see it. So, in that I explain how to read the number and how to put a comma here, okay? So, the number is 52,41,258, okay? So, we have to expand this number. Just now I teach you, you know, how to expand the number, okay? So, in that way you have to do this activity. So, I move on next page. Okay, example 2. Example 2, the abacus shows the number uh, 10, 100, 10,000, 10 lakh, okay. 1 crore 21,35,221, okay. So, the abacus shows the number hits, okay. In ones, 1 beats 10. 1 bit so they are writing 1 you are already know okay they are writing the number here according to the bits so this is the place value what is first one ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakhs ten lakhs and crore uh, in words 1 crore okay they are writing in words 1 crore 21 lakh 21 lakh 35 thousand 
211 211 so this is the expanded form okay 1 crore means 1 crore you have to write the place uh, 21 lakh means 210 lakh and 1 lakh okay that is 210 lakh and 1 lakh then uh, 3 10 thousand okay 3 10 thousand what is the place value of 3 3 is in which place 10 thousand place okay I explain it clearly wait So, so I explain it clearly. You listen. Uh, once in once place, this one in tens place. T two is in hundreds place. Five is in thousands place. T H. Okay. So this is the short form of thousand th. Next third one ten thousand t dot th means ten thousand three is in ten thousand five thousand hundred one ones. Okay. Uh, here lakh l here ten lakh ten lakh means t l. Okay. Two is in which place ten lakh place one is in lakh place this one is in crore place place c so this is the place value so one one two okay then they are putting the comma okay they are counting one two three three numbers after counting three numbers they are putting comma here okay then after counting two numbers they are putting comma then after counting two numbers they are putting comma because ones tens hundreds okay this three places you know these three places are in one period that is once period okay in once period there is three places ones tens hundreds that's why they are counting three numbers one two three after counting three numbers they are putting comma here because in once period there is two places <laughs> now you see here we have two numbers after that they are putting comma here why in this is thousands period in thousands periods there is only two places that is ten thousand and thousands okay similarly in lakhs period there is only two places that is lakhs and ten lakhs similarly in crores we have two places crores and ten crores here only we have crores okay so according to the period we have to divide we have to uh, separate the numbers okay we can group that number okay first one only three numbers okay then after coming number we have to separate it by two okay that's all students so uh, this is the way you have to write the expanded form so first we have to write from crore okay first number i am going to start that uh, you just write the number okay one so we write the number then you write the place one is in which place crore okay crore so they are writing the place then you have to write the number two two is in which place 10 lakh okay then you write the place value 10 lakhs then you write the number one okay one one is in which place here lakhs place you write the uh, place value sorry place okay then you write three three is in which place you see in the above ten thousand okay ten thousand they are writing okay then five thousand then two two hundreds okay hundreds one one is in tens okay therefore 110 okay this one 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 is in one space they are writing once i hope you understand okay i explain it one second also this is the expanded form and rem and uh, so what is the next step you just write one crore okay that is the next step <laughs> one crore means one crore means you just write one crore okay so this is one crore 
to 10 lakh means that is 20 lakhs if you don't know you just uh, put 2 and uh, multiply, uh, multiply by 10 lakhs okay 10 lakhs okay you just multiply this two number two ones are two then you count remaining zeros one two three four five six so then you write the six zero one one two three four five six okay if you don't know how to write two ten lakh you just write two and cross ten lakh and you multiply it and write it here okay and if you know two ten lakh without multiplication you can also write okay that is 20 lakh 2 10 lakh means 20 lakh then 1 lakh means 1 lakh you just write 1 lakh and plus okay this is the plus symbol and 3 10 thousand okay 3 10 thousand 30 and you put a plus symbol and 5 thousand means this 5 thousand okay and you put a plus 200 and plus 110 10 plus 1 okay this is the expanded form then we can we can write this number in multiplication this is nothing but 1 cross what 1 crore okay 1 cross 1 crore you write 1 crore okay you have to write 1 crore 2 means 2 cross 10 lakh here i write you know that is the next step okay you have to write in the multiplication form so you see here they are writing they are writing 1 and next they are writing crore 1 crore okay and 2 this is 10 lakh and 1 this is lakh i hope you understand yes the way you can write i already teach you how to write this one so next So here they are giving do you know name the number which has seven zeros after one okay after one means you put one then you put seven zeros one two three four five six 7 okay so i am going to divide it by using comma so in ones how many places three places one two three after counting three i am putting comma then remaining uh, we have two places each period so one two in this is thousand period one two lakhs period okay so what is this number ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakhs ten lakhs crore okay this is crore so therefore this is one crore okay so the number which has seven zeros after one okay that number is what one crore so this is the same activity students uh, we have to write the number here and the number name this is the expanded form okay I already teach you two times so you can do it so write the place value of each digit for the given numbers yes now we, now I explain it how to write the place value this is very easy uh, for example here they are giving one number okay what is that number they are writing you know so four four 3 4 okay here they are writing that number so first first one is in which place 9 is in which place ones place o means ones 8 is in which place tens place t g n s yes, tens place uh, t is the short form of tens okay t 7 is in hundreds place 6 is in thousands place uh, 5 is in ten thousands place uh, 4 is in lakhs place 3 is in 10 lakhs place, 4 is in crore place, ok. You just keep it in your mind. Uh, now we, I'm, we are, I'm going to find the place value of 9, ok. So I am going to find the place value of this 9. So the place value of 9 is 
you have to write the number as itself 9 first you write the number as itself 9 then you put a cross mark okay then we have to write the place okay we have to write the place so 9 is in which place ones place ones means one so they are writing one so 9 cross 1 9 ones are 9 so the place value of 9 is what 9 yes now I'm going to find the place value of 8 so the place value of 8 is you have to write the number as itself then you have to put the multiplication symbol cross 8 cross then you have to write the place 8 is in which place tens place tens means 10 okay so you multiply 8 by 10 so 8 tens are 80 yes so now next one the place value of 7 so we have to write the number first then we have to put the multiplication symbol so then we have to write the place 7 is in which place hundreds place hundreds means 100 so 7 into 100 what 700 that's all if you don't know how to multiply so you just multiply these two numbers 7 ones are 7 you write 7 then you add remaining zeros how many zeros two zeros one two one two okay so the place value of 7 is 700 okay so the place value of 6 is 1000 the so you have to write the 6 and the place value 1000 you have to put the cross mark 6000 if you multiply 6 cross 1000 6000 and if you don't know how to multiply it you just multiply 6 1 and write the number 6 ones are 6 then you count the remaining zeros 1 2 3 and you write the zeros after 6 1 2 3 uh, next the place value of 5 5 so I write the number as itself 5 5 is in 10,000 place okay therefore 10,000 means 10,000 okay you would write 10,000 10 and after that you have to add 3 0 this is thousands okay so 10,000 so you multiply it uh, 4 cross sorry 5 cross 10,000 5,000 okay if you don't know how to multiply it you just multiply 5 ones are what 5 just uh, write 5 then you add remaining zeros 1 2 3 4 here 1 2 3 4 okay this is the way to finding the place value remaining the place value of 4 is 4 is in lakh space 4 cross 1 lakh lakh means 1 lakh okay you have to write the lakh this is the lakh so next is the 3 10 lakh this is 10 lakh next one 4 cross crore this is 1 crore okay you just multiply that uh, place okay you just first you write the number and you uh, and you write the multiplication symbol cross then you write the place value okay first you write the place okay that's all 10 lakh make 1 crore yes sorry 100 lakhs make 1 crore you just know 100 lakh is 1 crore for your information uh, activity write the place value of 7 and 1 for the given numbers so this is one activity now i'm going to do uh, one example for you so place value of 7 and 1 so over here where is 7 7 okay so we have to write the number as itself 7 then we have to put the multiplication symbol cross and what is the place of 7 this is ones tens hundreds thousands 10,000 7 is in which place 10,000 place so you have to write 10,000 then you have to multiply it okay so I just multiply the first two numbers 7 ones are 7 I am writing 7 then I am going to add remaining zeros 1 2 3 4 4 zeros 1 2 3 4 okay therefore uh, the place value of this 7 is what 70,000 ok this is the way you have to find next one uh, 1 ok the place value of 1 so I have to write the number as itself then I put the multiplication symbol once in in once is in which place once tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh 
so once is in lakh place so i write 1 lakh 1000000 okay and 0 so this is 1 lakh 1 lakh has five zeros so i'm going to multiply 1 cross 1 1 then i'm going to write remaining zeros five zeros 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is the place value of this one is what 1 lakh in the way you have to find remaining numbers okay so next uh here they are giving uh exercise okay exercise 2.2 in 15478 okay 478 the place value of 7 is the what is the place value of 7 so you have to write the number 7 and put the multiplication symbol 7 is in which place it is ones tens okay so 7 cross 10 equal to 70 the place value of 7 is what 70 in the way you can write so the place value of 4 is so 4 you put multiplication symbol cross 4 is in which place ones tens hundreds so four cross hundreds is equal to what 400 okay the place value of one is ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousand so one cross ten thousand okay one cross ten thousand ten thousand okay the place value of one is 10000 i hope you understand yes so fill in the table with the place value for the following numbers okay ah uh, here they are giving a uh, numbers so we have to write the place value so, uh, So now I am going to write the place value. Uh, first one they are doing for us. Okay, what is the place of two? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakh, ten lakhs. Okay, that means ten lakhs. Okay, they are in the in the top. They are giving the place value. Okay, ones, thousands, lakhs, crores. In ones, how many places? Three places. Uh, ones, tens, hundreds. Okay, that is ones, tens, hundred. Okay, in thousand we have two places, thousand, ten thousand. In lakh we have two places, one lakh, ten lakh. In crore we have only one. Uh, sorry, here uh, they are giving only one place, one crore, and also we have ten crore. Okay, they are not giving that. You just understand. So now I am going to write the place value. the place value of 2 is what is the first place ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh ten lakh so where is ten lakh here ten lakh so they are writing the number 2 okay then 3 after uh, so after uh, writing 10 2 you have to write the 3 na third one 3 is in which place lakh place okay this is lakh 4 is in which place Yes, ten thousand place. Five is in which place? Thousands place. One is in which place? Hundred place. Seven, ten, uh, and these two in which place? Ones place. Okay. So first you find the uh, first number place. Then after you write remaining number continuously. Okay. That is very easy to write. So what is the uh, place of eight? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. 10000 is in 10000 place so thousand period which one is 10000 this is 10000 so you would write 8 after that you you can write the remaining numbers 4 7 0 1 okay 4 7 0 1 so 4 is in which place thousands place you can also check ones tens hundreds thousand you see 4 is in 
thousands place and seven is in hundreds place ones tens hundreds okay uh, so i'm going to find the first number place ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh so two is in lakh place okay so here lakhs so two is in lakh place so you write two okay this is the place of two then I'm going to write the remaining numbers 0 1 7 8 4 0 1 7 8 4 okay that's all <coughs> you can also check 0 1 7 8 4 0 is in 10,000 place you can also check it so you find the first number place 9 9 is in which place ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousand lakh this is also lakh so they are here they are writing 9 after that they are writing the remaining numbers continuously 0 4 7 0 4 okay now you see 2 is in which place uh, 100 thousand lakh crore okay so crore so you have to write 2 here then you write remaining number continuously 0 7 0 7 or lakh 9 1 9 1 or thousands 1 2 1 3 2 are in ones okay so this is very easy next one uh, ones thousands uh, 10 lakhs okay 10 lakhs so this is 10 lakh so the one is in which place 10 lakh place so one zero after i continuously write the number zero seven zero 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 okay now i filling this table by use by the respected places that's all uh, here they are giving third one find the difference between greatest seven digit number and the smallest six digit number so seven greatest seven digit number means seven uh, nine you have to write one two three four five six seven nine okay seven uh, that is this one is the greatest seven digit number next you are right uh, you have to write smallest six digit number that means you have to write one zero 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 what is this number the uh, ones and thousands lakh one lakh okay this is one lakh this is the smallest six digit number if you find the different okay if you find the difference so if you so if you find the difference nine zero nine minus zero nine nine minus zero nine nine this is nine 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 minus one white what eight here nine ninety eight thousand sorry ninety eight ones ones thousands like ninety eight lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine that is right yes yes that is right that is 98900 and sorry 98 lakh 99999 that is the difference between seven greatest seven digit number and the smallest six digit number okay i hope you understand so now the class is over we will see you in the next class and if you are not subscribe our channel subscribe it thank you very much